Hello Core Engineering family, in this video we are going to discuss about the one of the most important instrument which is used to measure the pressure at the local at the side that is your burden pressure gauge. You will see that more than 80% whenever you have to measure the pressure at the local at the plant you can say simply okay where you can see the pressure locally at the like let's suppose if you want to measure the pressure at the pump discharge side if you want to measure the pressure at the up steam and down steam of the heat exchanger right so one of the main or one of the most important the pressure gauge which we use that is the burden pressure gauge so in this video we are going to discuss about the what is burden pressure gauge what is the construction of the burden pressure gauge then we are going to discuss about the working of the burden pressure gauge we are going to discuss about the application of the burden pressure gauge right why this is the burden what is the meaning of burden okay so we are going to discuss in this video everything about the burden pressure gauge right so this is the very informative video for you if you are an engineer a student or working in an industry so this video must for you to watch right so let's start the video with what is burden pressure gauge okay so mainly the burden pressure gauge is nothing but a mechanical device you can say or the instrument you can say which is mainly used to measure the pressure right and display the pressure at the site are you getting my point what i want to say if you will see here in this picture this is the internal of the your pressure gauge this is the internal of the your pressure gauge you can simply see here i'll discuss about it what is this what is this we are going to discuss about this but this is the internal of that pressure gauge there is nothing complexity of the within the dial okay this is very very simple right just a mechanism is like that it show you the pressure um, mechanically you can say or the locally you can say right here you can say in this the simply the diagram and the credit goes to of this picture to your instrumentation today.com please visit to their website to know more about it right so this burden gauge is used to measure the pressure if let's suppose if you want to measure the pressure of gas stream or liquid stream simply you can measure with this burden gauge right but for the acid purpose right for the special purpose we do not use the burden gauge that time we use the diaphragm type gauges right and in but like for the water cases for the gases cases you can simply go with the burden gauge because the very simplicity is there very very simple is this one so simply you can use this one are you getting my point and you can also measure the pressure as low as like vacuum and as high as the 1000 psi okay like means i simply want to say up to you can simply measure the pressure range if i talk about so up to 3000 to 4000 bar you can use okay if you will see like in metro in buses okay and most of the household activities where you see the pressure gauge that time also we use the burden gauge right so this is all about the burden gauge what is this this is a pressure measuring device which mainly show you the uh, your reading you can say locally right let's suppose if you are in a field field operator so what you will see you simply go for the visit right and you see that okay uh, like let's suppose there is an ammonia pump or ammonia feed pump then simply you see that okay what is the pressure at the suction okay this one what is the pressure at, at the discharge okay this one so you know that locally right so that is the perfect indication right are you getting my point what i want to say now why this name burden actually this burden tube pressure gauge was invented or simply you can say the developed by the e burden okay there was the scientist e burden okay in 18 and 49 so they developed this burden tube pressure gauge that's why we say that burden pressure gauge and this tube is also known as the burden tube hollow tube you can also say but sometimes you will see that we refer this tube as the burden tube i hope you got it right 
let's move to the another part that is the construction of the burden tube or burden pressure gauge right this this construction is very very important to understand right so please carefully listen to me that what is the all about the construction so this is your scale simply you can see the scale and this scale means simply you will see here that like that there will be the scale like the simple scale which we see okay from zero to the limit could be anything let's suppose uh, what we are assuming here we are assume, assuming the 50 to sorry 0 to 50 okay the unit could be anything that could be psi that could be your kg per centimeter square and okay and what could be the other readings here okay now i'm just asking you what could be the other reading what you have seen right and i just want to ask one question more that which type of the pressure this burden pressure gauge measure okay which type of the pressure this burden pressure gauge measure please let me in the comments box right now there is the burden tube that is also we say the hollow tube okay this is the burden tube or hollow tube from where let's suppose your fluid is go okay like that your fluid is go like that are you getting my point what i want to say now you will see in the burden gauge that one end is fixed to the point where you have to measure the pressure where pressure is to be measured and other end is free end okay this one is your free end simply it is your sealed one here we have sealed it and this end will be connect this end will be connect to the pipe let's suppose this is the pipe okay this is the pipe and here you have used okay here you are attaching this pressure gauge right now let's talk about the other one that is the spring we will discuss later this one is your pinion okay if you will see here the pinion gear okay why this pinion gear we are using okay i'll 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 explain you about it okay with the pinion gear there is the pointer when we apply the pressure so what happens that there's the, this is the elliptical tube right when the pressure is applied so this elliptical tube acquire the cross section or the circular cross section and try to straighten up right so this pointer okay this pointer show you the pressure right are you getting my point now this is your pinion gear okay and this gear is attached to the other gear if you will see this gear is attached to the other gear that is a sector gear right now what happens that at the pressure applied here so simply with this sector gear this pinion gear is attached so it moves with the help of the sector gear now there is the segment lever is there okay there is the this one is this is connected with the segment lever and this one is your pivot right this is your what is this one this one is your pivot which makes it at the fixed point are you getting my point what i want to say okay now this segment lever is connect with the tip of the tube with the help of the adjustable link this adjustable link has a very significant role okay otherwise it could be damaged okay that's why this adjustable link is very very important right and after that there is the seal which we use why this seal is used simply because there is the tube uh, there is the gas or the liquid will flow okay in this hollow tube and when if let's suppose there is not the ceiling so what will happen that it will not show the accurate reading so sometimes if your pressure gauge is not showing the accurate reading and if you go for the pm maintenance of the instrument so please this is very very important to check the seal right and it is connected to the tip here now there is the two most important thing the one thing is the spring okay i was saying that we will discuss about the spring later so what is the use of this spring is that this spring helps the burden gauge or the pointer to brings it at the initial position let's suppose at the initial position it would be at zero and when you applied the pressure so let's suppose the pressure was 35 kg per centimeter square so now what will happen that 
when you will remove the pressure and when the pressure is like remove you can say so let's suppose the pump was running okay the discharge pressure was 35 now the pump is you have just stopped the pump so this spring will help this pointer to brings out or brings to the zero or the initial position right and after that there is the one stop point which is simply makes it at the zero or at the stop that's why we use it okay now here you can simply there is the socket okay because we have to also connect it with the pipeline right and now simply if i talk about the process connection so you will see that the process connection most of the time which i have seen that is the 13 sorry 15 mm and the 25 mm which we mainly use for the process connection here 25 mm which i have seen like half inch or one inch okay and two inch as well which i have seen okay now if you will see this picture here so simply you can see both things are interconnected this is the burden tube and this is the same which we were discussing okay so that is all about the construction of the burden tube pressure gauge okay now if you have any doubt till now please let me in the comments box so that i could clear your doubt and you know when you comment more and more so it gives us the motivation it gives our team to motivation that it makes the more content for you okay so please let me in the comments box like how do you like or how much do you like our videos okay which type of the content you want from us right so now let's discuss about the working of the burden tube pressure gauge so working is as i have already told you working is very very simple simply there is the pipe and let's suppose the liquid or this is the discharge pipe of the let's suppose the pump centrifugal pump now what happens that as the liquid is flowing okay so what will happen that simply this liquid will goes from here okay it will go like that and when this liquid will go like that so what will happen that it here the it will apply the pressure to the your hollow tube and when it will apply the pressure here so what will happen that simply this burden tube or the electrical tube will try to acquire the cross section or the circular cross section and it will try to straighten up right so because of that what will happen that this adjustable link will shift towards like that okay and it will also this lever will also move and with the help of the sector lever your this pinion lever will be moved if you have watched our gear pump video so what we have like learned there we learned that there is the one gear is fixed and another gear is movable same thing is here with the help of the sector gear your pinion gear will be moved and as your pinion gear will be moved the pointer is attached with the pinion gear it will also move because your tube is trying to be straightened up right so now what will happen that it will show you the pressure okay it will show you the pressure physically are you getting my point what i want to say that's how this pressure gauge works now when you will simply like of your pump so what will happen that simply with the help of the this spring this pointer will comes to the zero right so that's how the your burden pressure gauge works i hope you got the point what i want to say now most of the time 80 to 90 percent of the in, in the industry you will see that the pressure we use the burden type pressure gauge right and we also use the other type of the pressure gauge as well and with the application this burden tube could be like your okay it could be like your helical it could be twisted it could be spiral tubes as well right so it depends on the construction as well okay now the application we i have already told you okay you know about the pressure gauge i hope you understood that what is the meaning of the pressure gauge how it works if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning